Well, this is the setting for our featured match today. Welcome to you. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith alongside me up on the gantry. We have football today from the Championship in England. It's Warsaw against Stoke City. Yeah, real buzz around this ground. Full house. A lot of interest in it. Hope it doesn't disappoint. And the lineup for the home side goes like this. Well, we put it up, and what looks, Alan, very defensive, but there's flexibility, isn't there, in the side? Yeah, and I think with his shape, so much depends on the wing-backs, how much they are allowed to get forward and what they can do when they do get forward. The Stoke City team, here it is for you. James McLean starts with Thomas Ince out wide. We'll see how the striking option works with just one up front. Thank you, enjoy the game. Terrific uh, entertainment uh, on offer here, I'm sure, as the game gets underway. The pass not completed, really. It's an advantage for Stoke City, signals the referee. James McLean. Romero. A cross here from James McLean. Well, he's cleared the danger. Just got a moment to pop over to Alan McAnally with news of a penalty. It's a penalty. Excellent movement to get the pass and stay on side. It's a shot now for score. Well, he has started fast and they've started fast. That's the opening goal. Just a word on the goal scorer. You have to get there to get the chance. And credit him for that. Well, I think the keeper, you know, he's entitled to ask why his defenders didn't react as quickly as the goal scorer. He'd done his bit. He'd made the initial save. And that has opened the scoring, 1-0 here. Goal news now from Barnsley. It's a goal for Reading, nine minutes played, 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. They've got the ball back by that interception. Camera. Great tackling technique to win the ball cleanly. Sinclair. Gives it away. Ince. Good challenge. He's won it back easily. The ball glued to his boots, it seems. Excellent work. This and he gives it back to no it. Stadium. Please do not smoke in any part Thank you. Nearly. It's the post, not the back of the net. Let's pop over to Alan McAnally, who's watching the Millwall game. And I believe, Alan, you've got a goal to tell us about. It's a goal for Nottingham Forest. 23 minutes played. Opening them up with a through pass. Well, it's come to nothing in the end. Apologies to Alan, just had to cut him short there because of what's happening in front of us in this game. Probing pass. With his skill, here's a chance to have a run at goal and take the opposition on. Throw in to come. Well, they've thrown uh, the ball away there, literally to the opposition. Space to get the cross in. They'll be annoyed with the cross because it was the goalkeeper's ball all the way. 
The host can't quite get hold of the ball. They're doing a great job here. It's been a classic counter-attacking performance. You don't always need to be dominating possession to get yourselves ahead. Threads it through. To bring them level. Brilliant goal. Well, what a lovely through ball that was, Martin. Perfectly weighted and beautifully finished. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Recognise the foul, but they play on because they've still got the ball. With good vision. Chippy! And there it is! Talk about rolling up the sleeves at the kickoff, metaphorically rather than literally, but they've got themselves a goal very quickly. They have. Don't know where the opposition was just switching off there. But uh, it's made more of a game of it now. Stoke City trail here then. Now Joe Allen. Successful tackle. Keeping the ball is one thing, but they've got to try and open up the opposition. Space for the shot! Oh, great chance! The ball's <laughs> loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hold it. Well, that needed a more subtle touch. He's gone for power, and he's nowhere near. Well, I don't think he kept his head down, actually. Probably thought he'd scored before he'd even hit it. James McLean. Excellent attacking play here. They could open up the opposition now. Trying so hard to make the open. Well, the referee is blown for half time here with 2 1 the score. <laughs> referee just checking everything is in order and he blows for the second half to start. To Allen. Romero, good vision, he's in on goal, an excellent chance, more than matched by the goalkeeper, who's diffused the situation. Oh, great agility, great reflexes there, and uh, denying the opposition any knockdowns as well. Butler. Trying to thread a pass through, but not successful. Well, there's tenacity for you. He's got the ball back for his team. And there's the interception. Ince. Striding forward, purposefully. And he must be a goal. Well, we hit it well enough. Uh, but, as we can see, nowhere near the goal. Yeah, and his teammates aren't overly impressed with that. Let's go over to Alan McAnally quickly for news of a goal in the Derby County match. It's a second goal for Brentford. 57 minutes played, 2-1. Thanks, Alan. And we'll follow that with interest. Well, that will mean a corner coming up now. Action on the benches. Both teams are going to make a substitution. Good anticipation by the defender. Wonderful ball. Oh, he's been called offside here. The visitors having lots of the ball, but you can see the manager down there is less than happy. Obviously, his team's losing, that's bad enough, but no real sign so far that they're going to get back into this because they're just not able to find a way through. He might have put his teammate in here. That's an important clearance. In the Cardiff City match, there's been a goal, and here's Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Cardiff City. 66 minutes played, 3-1. Thanks, Alan. Substitute getting ready for Stoke. That's an easy interception. 
the pass wasn't really a very thoughtful one. Guiding it through. And he set himself now. Oh, great chance. What an important goal this may well be. They're two ahead now, building a platform for victory. 3-1 the scoreline as we restart the game. And 20 minutes to go. We're going to have a substitution now for Stoke City. Good range in his passing. To Allen. The word has come through that Real Madrid have completed the deal for a player they've been chasing for a while. And he is a good player. He's uh, got plenty of excellent years ahead of him in my book. So that £65 million, pounds, that ballpark figure. Good vision here. Oh, that's a penalty. More trouble. Well, this might just be the nail in the coffin. Two decisions for the referee here. Was it a penalty? He says yes. What colour card? He said yellow. Yeah, you can't really argue, and what a chance this is from 12 yards. Wonderful goalkeeping. Well, so often it is a game of cat and mouse, but he was up to the challenge. Well, they're getting set for the corner. Over to Alan Macken in front of goal. Oh, what a tackle to break up the play! Stoke City are getting ready to make a change now. Apologies to Alan for breaking into his report. Confirmation that it was Middlesbrough who got the goal in that game. The scoreline in that game is now 2 1. We are going to see a substitution now. A look at the watch, and that will tell you six minutes to go. Lindsay. Now Powell. Can really get at the opposition here. This could be a chance. He comes out of the off the goalkeeper. really from such a good position and such a good player because he's hit it so hard yeah that's not like him at all don't know why he tried to finish like that excellent attacking play here they could open up the opposition now neatly intercepted the last blast on the whistle today.